Hello and welcome! When I think of the PSP, two things come to my mind. The first is how the PSP is one of the greatest portable systems that I have ever used. And the second is just how slow the games used to load when it was loaded through a UMD. But now with a large chunk of the PSP games library being available digitally and with custom firmware bridging the rest of the gap by allowing you to back up your UMD games and playing them back digitally, loading games on a PSP has never been faster. But even though I can tell from a thousand feet that PSP games are running faster from the memory stick, it did get me thinking, just how much faster is it? And is there a difference from running a game from the Sony PVP format versus running it from the game disk image file themselves? So to find out, I decided to convert a game over and test to see what loads faster. But before that, a quick message from this video's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by 16-Bit Games. 16-bit games offer a variety of games on both Android and iOS. You can play them for free, and if you like them, you can buy them completely ad-free on both platforms. If you are interested or want to support the channel, why not check out our games today from the links in the description below. To test which game format loads the fastest, I decided to test the most egregious, the most resource-intensive game that I own on the PlayStation Portable. The Sims 2. Okay, that didn't sound as impressive as I thought it was going to be, but The Sims 2 is actually a perfect game for this test, since everything in The Sims 2 loads from the disc, which means on the UMD it's basically unbearable. So, it's perfect. Since The Sims 2 is not available on the PlayStation Store digitally, and for fairness, I took my UMD copy of The Sims 2 and backed up the ISO. I then took that backed up ISO and converted it into a PVP file. For fun, uh, the ISO to PVP tool allows you to put a custom splash screen on it, so I made a second version of the PVP with that custom fast splash screen to see if it had any impact on loading games. So with my three and a half formats ready to compete, I tested loading a save file in The Sims 2. Started the game, loaded the file, loaded an area. I performed this game twice for each game format and took the results of my... that I recorded. I then took the results that I recorded into my video editing software, synced everything up from a defined start time and end time, and compared the results. Now the first section which we'll be looking at is starting the game from the PSP home screen and waiting until the game finished loading in The Sims 2 logo. And straight away we start seeing some unique and recurring results. First note is the ISO is the fastest loading format and the PPP is surprisingly not that far behind. However, an unexpected result that I found is that the PVP file with my custom splash screen actually loaded a little slower than the PVP without the splash screen. So keep this in mind if you are really sensitive to loading times. And no matter how much I tried to sugarcoat this, the UMD was embarrassingly slow. But interestingly enough, it also loads inconsistently. Maybe the disk position might have to account for that. I don't know. Moving on then, we'll be taking a look at the second loading section, which is loading the game up until the first save screen. And here we can see that small loads from PVP or ISODs are negligible, as the load times are about the same. And thankfully, the PVP files for both formats are loading at the same time, so it's just that initial load from the start menu which increases the game's load times, thankfully. The last section was just waiting for the game itself to load into an area, 
And here, for a longer load, we see that the ISO performs a lot better than the PBP file. Which, honestly, is not surprising at this point. So, end results. Obviously, the UMD is a very slow loading device. You are better off never using it to plague your games with, but don't just outright toss the drive from your system, as a UMD drive is necessary to back up your games in the first place. If I was you and an owner of an original PSP, I'd just get one of those memory cards to have micro SD card adapters, as it will definitely come in handy. But for the ISO and PBP files, I found the results here to be very interesting since they were both loaded from the same memory stick on the same system and yet they had noticeably different loading times. And I think that discrepancy comes down to how the file formats work. A PBP file format appears to have some sort of file compression applied to it. This compression allows the PBP file to reduce its file size so it can comfortably fit on smaller memory sticks. But this file trade-off comes at the cost of additional processing in order to decompress uh, requested data, meaning it will load a little slower. Meanwhile, with an ISO, especially on custom firmware disks, uh, it has no compression, meaning that it just runs as is. Of course, all of this is merely speculation. So at the end of the day, the ISO format is the fastest loading format on the PSP. If you're looking for that speed and efficiency, extract all your PBP games and turn them into ISOs. With that said, personally, I'm actually keeping with the PBP format for my PSP Go. I'd rather have more space on my system for more games, music, and videos, rather than the slightly faster loading times, because it is only slightly. The difference was not negligible, I was only able to see it when I compared it head to head. And even then, I, that time isn't egregious, not compared to what the UMD used to do. But that's just my personal taste. Do whatever it is that you need to do for your systems. But anyways, thank you ever so much for watching, hope you have yourself a good day, and as always, take care.